Hello everybody and welcome to my second day of my holiday. Well, the vlog about the second day of my holiday. We still have Rob, my camera face man. Uh, thank you to him again. Put that in the comments actually. Say, thank you Wob, we Wob woo. Not in such a perverted voice though. Anyway, on my second day, my brother was planning for us to go to the zoo. So we go there, and even in the six lane interstate highway concrete monstrosities they have there, because they've far too much space and should give back the top northwest and northeast of America back to us, they can keep the south. I'd... No offence, but I... Maybe Texas. I'll have Texas. Everything's bigger there. I heard they make good burgers. Anyway, for off that tangent, we were going to the zoo, right? There was this huge queue, so my brother said, okay, I'll take you to something off the trail, off the guidebooks. He'll take us to some waterfalls. I've never really been to a big waterfall. I've never swam in one. But he was like, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be great. Like, it's fresh glacier water off, like, the mountains. The one thing I didn't think of when I was going there was that how cold glacier water is. So we go to this place called uh, Multnomah Falls. Well, there's a group of them under Multnomah Falls, but this was like a, a little one. I'll put a picture around one of his. I took some. But uh, it's a small one, so it was just breaking in, and it was surrounded by like families lounging around on these like big ass rocks and stuff. And there were these people having their wedding photographs. No one had gone in. I should have, I should have seen this as a warning sign that it was cold. But no. Guess what I do instead? I run up and dove straight in there <laughs> and then ran straight back out again. <laughs> My brother followed me, dove straight in there, went, Oh, Ollie, come back in. It's fine. It's fine. I'm like, no, ah, it's so cold. I can't feel myself. Actually, don't feel yourself in public places. That's not a good thing. But I just went straight back in there and, uh, it was interesting. First time swimming in a waterfall, freezing ice cold. It felt like someone had taken a huge whip to my back and literally gone to town. Because all of that water was falling from around 60, 70 foot high and it's freezing ice cold and was just pounding. I couldn't even swim right up to it because the amount of force of the water coming away from it was just pushing me away. I could just swim, just do some breaststroke towards it and not move. But it was awesome! So after that, we went to the next waterfalls, which my brother promised to be this epic gorge of awesome proportions. I've never been to a gorge. I'm distinctly lacking all this nature stuff. I explained, pardon me, Whew, that fizzy water. I'd even a bird beforehand. Uh, I'm lacking all the natural stuff because I spend most of my time on the computer, but I'm into the natural stuff, so I was like, fuck yeah, let's go do it. So we go there, and it's like this gorge. It's you can just about see to the end of it. It's around seven, six hundred foot long and uh, around a hundred foot high and it's really, really close together. It's ice cold water and really, really stony, stony bottom, like proper, like hardcore cliff, stone, rock stuff, like stuff you would climb on, but it's on the floor and I didn't have any other shoes or anything, so I went barefoot because I'm a man! Matter of opinion. Well, Anyway, so we're going up to this thing, so I'm walking along, and then all of a sudden I, oh, the dam's coming up. What? What? What dam? So we're just coming up, and there's these, the driftwood, there were like logs lying across the top of this gorge, and some of them had fallen down, and it's made this dam around 40 foot high and 20 foot wide, and there's giant holes in it where the trunks are like interconnected, so if you fall, you're screwed. So we're climbing over, I'm not too sure on my feet at that time, so I just spent ages trying to climb over it, and my sister is spending ages, so those two go back without me knowing, my brother and his girlfriend, both go back to help my sister. So I'm still going over, I end up halfway up the thing, turn around to find there's literally nobody behind me, nobody in front of me, and not a sound. <laughs> so now I'm a, bit, I'm a bit cautious, so what do you do when you're left? alone, in a place you don't know, with only, with two ways to go. Back to the people you know, or forward into doom. I went forward! Yeah! So I go up, I spend ages, my feet at this point feel like they are bleeding. At certain points I had to carry my clothes above my head, 
uh, to wade through the water. It was like in Vietnam with like the guns and stuff going through the swamp. <laughs> but I was wading through, applying clothes on my head, and I make it to the waterfall. It's this tiny piddly little thing which looks like it barely has any water coming out of it. But it's like coming down, I'm swimming towards it again. I'm This time I'm doing front crawl towards it, not moving. So I walk back again to that dam, just as they get over, walk back again. Remember, I'm doing this all barefoot on that rocky surface. I can't feel my feet. I'm scared to leave the water in case I can feel my feet because my feet might have huge holes in them at this point. I can't really tell. I'm afraid to look down at my feet. So we get there and I've planned like this little route around. You go left and there's like a little rock shelf I can just sit on and then I'll just dive right in and ride it out. This is good in theory with one person. So there's four of us trying to get around here. So each of us just kept hit into each other because of the water current. And then we just go around and we dive in and we just get thrown straight back out with the force of the waterfall. It was great. The th also, a few facts about this gorge. I'll place a picture here of it. Um, the gorge itself is so special that it contains tons of Jurassic stuff. We were singing the Jurassic Park theme every five minutes in there. Uh, which now has completely gone out of my head because I've mentioned it, but we just kept singing that and people down, it echoed, so people further down the gorge would just randomly join in at points and you just hear them echo back, which was really creepy when you just hear Jurassic Park theme tune echoing and my sister doing um, T-Rex impressions, which, Rah! that sort of thing. <laughs> We're all a bit special in my family, to put it nicely. But after this, we go to another waterfall, which is so big, it has like a visitor center, and I'm doing a lot with my arms, apparently. It has huge cordon off areas. We can't go underneath it, which sucks. So we walk to the top of it, have a look around, all nice and touristy and everything. So, and that was the end of the second day. See you next time.